Welcome to Proverbs from the Diaspora, where we explore ancient sayings and advice and how they apply to our modern day lives. Thanks for joining us on the journey. Every day, we make a series of choices that either brings us closer or further away from the ideal version of who we'd like to become. The internal narratives we repeat become our reality. For me, not living up to my full potential is a consistent terror of mine. I think very few of us ever reach our full potential. I know that self-actualization is something like winning the lottery, but if we don't try daily, we almost guarantee the regret of missing out and who we could have been, who we could have met, what we could have experienced, who we could have loved, who we could have inspired, and ultimately, the legacy we could have left behind. I'm not saying that we need to be perfect, but each day we can take a step towards the ideal self. So in this trip, and for the foreseeable future, I choose to rehearse the narrative of crossing the river and getting wet. When uh, we first started this whole episode, the thing that we were talking about was no one's able to cross a, a river without getting wet. And man, this is probably the example of that proverb. I mean, come on, our vehicle is stuck. We're here in the middle of nowhere, but nowhere at the same Oregon. time, man, look at these views. Look at how peaceful it is. We're the only ones that are out here. We're gonna get unstuck. It's just a matter of time. But it's kind of a piece of that, right? This is yeah. also help is on wet. the way. Um, I feel like we should mention that. <laughs> yeah, help is on the way. And we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the time that we have here. Yeah. And next time we'll probably know a little bit we'll have a little bit more experience so that this doesn't happen. This is where we're at. We got a tow truck out here to help us, um, but we are still in a bind, the tow truck as well. Here we go, folks. Thank you.